As I demonstrated earlier, there's no debate whatsoever in the scientific community regarding evolution and if it happens. However, some work has come from Dr. Michael Behe out of Lehigh University, which has questioned that. Now, to put Dr. Behe in perspective, he's responsible for the idea of irreducible complexity, and he also participated in the Dover trial. If you've ever seen the example of a Swiss watch or a mousetrap used to describe evolution, that's the work of Dr. Michael Behe. So curious about how an actual scientist could really view that, I wrote him about it. I asked him if he thought that we shared a common ancestor with other primates. He says, yes, I think we share an ancestor with other primates. However, I certainly don't think the process leading to the appearance of humans was Darwinian. I responded just for clarification. Would it be correct to say that you feel we share a common ancestor and through guided mutations and natural selections humans arose? Behe, resp or Behe responded, yes, that's right. So again, he's not questioning whether mutations and natural selection can do um, or create the appearance of humans. It's more so, were those mutations random or did God cause the mutations? And I had also been curious as to his thoughts on intelligent design in general, so I spoke with him about that as well. He responded, um, or I told him rather, that I was under the impression that intelligent design firmly held that we were created in our present form and no animals share common ancestors. He responded, no, that's incorrect. Intelligent design simply states that the action of an intelligent agent is needed to explain an aspect of life. He says he thinks common descent is true, yet it was somehow guided. And a lot of the creationists who like to tout him, that it's simply that's not the case because it's not what he believes. He does not believe that we, nor any other species on this earth, were created in our present form. Now, for examples of creationists exploiting fear, one has to look no further than the cesspool of creationist misinformation known as Answers in Genesis. Recently, um, in the school shootings in Finland, Answers in Genesis did a story on it, of course, blaming evolution. He says, I am prepared to fight and die for my cause. I, as a natural selector, will eliminate who I see unfit, disgraces of the human race, and failures of natural selection. However, in Answers in Genesis, they continue to add, No, the truth is that I am just an animal, a human, an individual, a dissident. It's time to put natural selection and survival of the fittest back on tracks. And it gives sources for that. Unfortunately, the second half regarding natural selection doesn't appear in either one of the sources that they listed. The shooter clearly showed no knowledge of natural selection or evolution whatsoever because he didn't target the weak. He targeted standout students, ones who, if anything, were very fit for their environment and doing wonderfully. And it's, quite frankly, just a shame that creationists have to exploit tragedies like this to pull at people's heartstrings and hope that they'll just absorb it without thinking. Now, another example of creationist fear-mongering can be seen on Answers in Genesis's website as well, in which they allege Hitler, Marx, Stalin, and others. Darwin's teaching may have influenced many in the past, such as Hitler, who tried to get Nazi Germany to conform to evolution. Marx, Pol Pot, Trotsky, and Stalin, to name a few, avidly held to Darwinian evolution to justify their actions. First of all, no. If anything, Hitler was much more influenced by Christianity. This can be seen by the... Um, the implementation of Christian symbols such as crosses along with swastikas. Heck, even all of the Nazi uniforms on their belt buckles had a, a cross, or a swastika rather, with Gott mit uns, which in German means God with us. Furthermore, the only time that evolution is mentioned by Hitler, it clearly shows that he is not referring to natural evolution or natural selection or evolution as a whole, but more so the, the descent and ancestry that he's referring to seems much more um, coincidental with a biblical history and genealogy than it does an evolutionary one. If anything, this clearly displays Hitler's lack of knowledge about evolution, but then again, that's not what he's referring to in the first place. Finally, even if it were true that Hitler was heavily influenced by evolution, does that really do anything to discredit it as a scientific theory? I mean, no doubt Hitler also believed in gravity, but does that mean that we should stop teaching gravity in our schools? I mean, it really doesn't matter. I mean, even if um, the, the, the shooter in Finland, the people at Columbine, anything like that, even if evolution was their motivating force or they believed in evolution and did it, that doesn't make evolution false whatsoever. It's simply appealing to people's heartstrings as opposed to their minds. Furthermore, as creationists love to um, blame evolution for all society's woes, the data is completely contradictory. For example, some of the most violent periods in the U.S.'s history was before evolution is taught. And since it has been taught, 
it's gone down. I'm not saying this is because of evolution, I'm simply saying that it's related. Also, if you look at the trends around the civilized world, the more or the greater percentage of a country's citizens accept evolution, the fewer violent crimes, murders, rapes, abortions, etc. that they have. Now, again, I'm not alleging that evolution is the cause of this, I'm simply stating that the data is completely contradictory to what they're asserting and irrelevant to begin with, and I think it's a shame that they try and capitalize off of the worst of humanity to try and further their goals. That's not Christian. So in summation, it's really downright shameful that the group claiming the moral high ground is involved in so much dishonesty. I mean, this simply doesn't happen with evolutionists, yet evolutionists don't really care. We're not going out claiming the, that Christianity is and creationism is awful and causing all these murders and things like that. We're just simply saying that it's not true. And the sooner that we get our heads out of our asses, the better off we'll be.